Welcome to Blind Bourbon and Whiskey Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new bourbons. We base our reviews off of a 25-point scale we developed and then multiply that by 4 to get up to 100. We start with 5 points for smell, then 10 points for taste, then 5 for the finish, and 5 points combined for the look of the bottle and the liquid inside. Now on to the review. All right, guys, back for another blind taste test. Still at the camper, so we have another one that I brought from home. Um, I'm really excited about this one. I think John is too. So we'll see how this one goes. I got this one in my Beaver Island glass, so. He's good now, he's got his Beaver Island glass. Um, he bought that for the camper, so he's pretty excited to keep that one here and have a nice glass to drink out of, so. What are we smelling? What do we see? Everything sweet. Okay. It all kind of goes together along the same line. I didn't just think of one and then just thought of things that would go with that. I actually smell all of the stuff. Okay. You have vanilla and baked apples, cinnamon, some butterscotch. So kind of reminiscent of maybe like apple pie and ice cream kind of a thing going? No, it's not creamy smelling. No? Barely any alcohol burned at all on the nose. Very, very faintly. A little maple syrup the longer it sat out. Hmm. The butterscotch kind of turned to a maple syrup. That's interesting. I want, I want to give it a perfect score, but I can't. It's a little simple. If it was a little bit more complex, a little bit stronger smelling, it'd be perfect on the smell. Okay. You get a 4.75. Alright. That's nearly perfect. I'm impressed. Tastes good, too. Well, a lot good. of stuff transfers over. The okay. cinnamon... Um, baked apples, a little floral. I get that. I smell that. A little floral. It's got a little bitterness that sticks around through the finish too. Okay. That kind of off puts the perfect score. Um, a slight burn on the tip of the tongue. It is very, very smooth. It's got to be 90 or less proof. I really don't see that above that at all. A little bit of rye on the back end. Not, it's a low rye, but you can taste it. Maybe a sour mash? As soft and apple-y as it is? Eight point seven five. Oof. Yeah, that's, that's high. That's steep. Okay. But it is still a little simple. I absolutely love it, though, because it's sweet. Sweet bourbons are my favorite. Okay. I couldn't give it a nine. It's close, but... Just not there. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. The finish, is it's got a perfect mouthfeel. Okay. Perfect viscosity. It's like thick and oily. Okay. It's a little bitter on the back end, which still it barely misses being perfect. I don't know if I'll ever get a, a bourbon that will pass this one. Maybe, but not anytime soon. Okay. No burn at all and going down. Very, very little hug. Okay. If it didn't have that bitterness, it'd be perfect, like I said. So 4.75. Just knock it down just a little bit. A little tiny bit. Yeah, okay. the bitterness, is it fades a little bit on the on the finish, but it's still there. Okay. Now the look is the first thing I'm going to give it perfect. It's got a nice golden brown, reddish mm -hmm. tint to it. And the legs sticks to the glass like crazy and it runs down the sides like wax like 
It's super slow. Yeah. It's nice, forms nice little beaded drops. It's got That's good crazy. legs. Gave it two and a half out of two and a half on the look. Oof. Yeah, we're cruising through this one. It's kind of simple, but it's really highly rated. Okay. Now the bottle. We have a sample here, right? Just a sample, no bottle. You heard my guess earlier. Mm -hmm. Am I right? He was right. I am right. So it I is knew. Elmer T. I knew he was probably going to guess this one, but we have not done it, and I know that it is one of his favorites, so I was very interested to see what he was going to do with it, and he did exactly what I thought he would do. Um, I was very impressed that he kept it so high. Um, it was it was interesting. It You've was, been killing me. I've been waiting for you to I know. for me to do <laughs> this one. And it's been sitting here for like three weeks now. Yeah. <laughs> Because we brought it, and he ended up, uh, a few weeks ago when we did one, I brought it with, and he ended up picking the other one. So I was like, well, whatever, we'll just do the other one, and it's no big deal. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so that I one... I did not rate, I, I thought it was Elmer right at the beginning, but I kept my mind out of it, because... He lets his mind get There's to some whiskeys in the cabinet I haven't tried. Maybe it could be that. Yeah. So I, I kept it out of my mind. I've had, uh get rid of a couple reviews the past week ago because I had something in my mind and it just like ruined everything after that yeah. and then I was wrong it, it didn't work out it was bad ones I mean but that's part of why we do this so there's sometimes where we aren't going to show you guys all of it just because it, the, some of the stuff that John pulls out of it I'll, just isn't right I'll have to stop halfway through or yep. it just it doesn't feel right but he's right on the head with this one. I want to be as one. accurate as possible, and I think we've been doing really good this week. Yeah. So, I think he rated this accordingly, because he rated it very high, and it is one of his favorite it's ones. It's going to be one so, of the first 90s, isn't it? Probably. What are we giving the bottle? 2.5. It's a really, I love, I love Elmer's bottle, too. Elmer T is one of the best master distillers of all time. Mm -hmm. It's a short, fat bottle little indents on the sides and a little caved in in the front it's got a picture of him on the inside of the back sticker so you can see it through the front yep it's just a very elegant bottle um i got mine for forty dollars mm -hmm. had so, a guy he just wanted said i can have it for what he paid and secondary around here has been 150 plus yeah, Elmer is one you do not come by very easily I've around here. I've never seen it in a store. Never seen it in a store. The one we restaurant. Very rarely. Yep. That's where he tried it, was the one restaurant that we had been to. Um, but other than that, I I don't think we've seen it anywhere else. Nope. So, it's one of those ones that's kind of a ghost in the dark here, but we found it and we got a hold of it, so we're savoring that bottle. So, I was a little hesitant to do it. That's why I waited, because we've had the bottle for... Almost a year. No. Six months? Six months. Yeah. Eh. No, Ish. not even. We were camping when we got it, so. Okay, well, so four or five months. Yeah. And. Three. I mean, it was. I'm savoring it. I have, yeah. I don't drink it. I just look at it. I have, well. I want to, I'll drink it when I get a backup, but. Yeah. Don't know when that will be. And how I much we're going to pay. I don't know when that will be either. We'll see, but. Definitely worth a hundred dollars. Yeah. Minimum here in Michigan's forty. That's probably gonna go up. It's a single barrel. It is ninety proof. And it's a sour mash. It is a sour mash. Mm -hmm. It is made by Buffalo Trace. I believe it it's is... mash bill number one. I'm not sure. I don't know what the mash bills with those. It is a lower rye mash bill. I know that for sure. But it's definitely. You guys are out of town. I. 90% sure if you live in Michigan, you're not going to find it anywhere. Um, but if you are out of town on a trip or you have a family member that is, find a very many places. Try, try and hunt for it a little bit because it is definitely worth it. If you like the sweeter bourbons, smooth drinkers, like John could drink that whole bottle in a night, I bet, if he wanted to. Like they, It just goes down so nice. That's one of the few in the cabinet that I can drink neat, and that's saying something because I don't like drinking bourbon neat yet. 
So, and yeah. it's just it's just so sweet and so smooth and it just has such great flavors I don't flavors like using the it. word smooth for a bourbon. I like a little bite. This one doesn't have much bite, but it's smooth just, is exactly what it is. It's just an all around a great bottle doesn't to burn. have. It's not full of flavor, but it has a good lot of flavor. Sweetness. What it does have is good. So it's definitely worth it if you guys can find it or a family member can or wherever, you know. See it at a restaurant, get it, because that's yeah. about the only place you'll really Try it out it. and see. It's definitely worth it because it's a good, good one. Probably price for it, too. But it's it's a good one. It's definitely worth trying or picking up if you, for some reason, can't get your hands on it. Um, so we have a new leader because it comes in at 93 out of 100. And I was searching for stuff to knock it down in points because I knew was, it was a perfect bourbon This was a tough one for him. He was trying to find little indiscretions, little discreet pieces that he could pick out. Knock it down as good. much as I could, and I only can get it to 93, which is an elite bourbon for me. Yep. I do not foresee anything past that for a while. Probably not. So there you have it. 93 out of 100 for Elmer T. Lee. It's going to be a tough one to beat, but maybe we'll find something down the road. We'll see trying to get a Weller 12 year, maybe that one might. Probably not. I don't have mm. high hopes for a Weller 12, but no. I haven't had it in a while. We'll see. We've, we're trying to get some different ones moving here and trying mm -hmm. out some different stuff, so maybe we'll find one down the road. Maybe not soon, but <laughs> I definitely think We can find one, it's just I don't know if we can find one affordable. Yeah. Or for the price it's worth. Yeah, that's true. We'll see. But Definitely, if you guys can get it at a restaurant, you can get it. Your hands on a bottle by the graces of God. Do it. It's You won't regret it. It's a good one if you like the sweeter stuff. So try it out. See what you guys think. Let and there's us a plus know. side. There's no animal for me to mess up on the bottle. That's true. There isn't any animal. Just a guy. But I don't think you can mess that up because his name's on the bottle. But Who, Elmer Blanton? Elmer T. There's is actually the founder or the creator of Blanton's bourbon. Mm -hmm. He did it to honor Albert Blanton. So he's the creator of Blanton's, and they made this whiskey. I don't know if he had any say into it, but maybe between Blanton's is my number one, and then this one, or my now my number two, and yeah. this is my number one. So Whatever Buffalo Trace, doing. Elmer T. They did it right. Right, they know what they're doing over there. So, but it's definitely a good one, worth the buy, if you can get your hands on it. So, pick one up and enjoy it, guys. Let us know what you think if you do get your hands on it. Quick note, it is mash, Buffalo Trace mash bill number two. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.